Hey, I just got done recording this video you're about to watch. I also said throughout it, <clears throat> <coughs> sorry, don't try after recording, that um, I was going to edit this. I'm just going to pop it in Movie Maker, and not Movie Maker, uh, you know, no. Um, iMovie on my phone and just, you know, put the clips together. So, yeah, um, there is some funny scenes throughout it, so hope you uh, have a laugh out of them. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say... I'm not I'm not really editing this. I'm just putting the clips together and then exporting it and then putting it on YouTube and yeah. Also, the video is extremely long. I did not notice this, but I recorded two clips of this plus this clip and then an outro just to say, "Hey, the video is longer." Sorry for that. But just a heads up. This video is crazy long and most of this is probably just like nothing much. So like there's a part where I keep repeating the same thing like 10 times. It's nuts. Until, like, for the first clip towards the end. Just a heads up on that. Um, I think I said the same thing, like, a billion times, so. Yeah, once I start saying it once, I'll just hear me say it. Loop-de-loop-de-loop -loop -loop again and again and again, basically. I don't know why I said loop-de-loop. -loop, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm not good at this talking thing. I don't specialize in this. I'm better at just playing the game. You know, it's, it's why I do gameplay videos normally. But, uh, this. This is why. This is my old recording computer. It don't record anymore, though. So I can't use it. And my other computer, my really nice one, yeah, we all know what's wrong with it. Um, but yeah, I'll update it at the end of the video if you want an update. So yeah, let's just cut to the footage because this is already a minute long. Hello, ow. <laughs> okay, um, I actually hit my mouth there. Um, hello, YouTube. Welcome to another video. And actually, this is one of my first videos on this petition channel. Well, it's not first, but it, it, it's, it's in there. Um, I have to do things in the mobile uploads because, uh, this, this, this just shouldn't be here. This shouldn't be here. I should be having, like, a really big computer here. It's nice, but I have to take it back to the repair, not to the repair shop, but to, uh, the company that made it. So, in the meantime, I'm going to do this little mobile upload. So, on here, on this phone, I have the Octo Expansion trailer that showed out on, um, the Direct on March 8th, 2018. And we're going to go back, and I'm going to rewatch it. I just literally rewatched it now. And I've noticed some things, and this is going to be like a theory on the um, story, what it could be about. Now, I'm doubting I'm going to get, I might get most of this right. I do not know. I don't really, who knows. But what I can say is that, hey, we're going to see where things go with this. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be expanded on a lot more because there isn't really lore into this. What I've actually should have done is written the ideas up on that whiteboard over there so I can just read it off of there. But I'm going to watch it. I had the playback speed set slower. Um... We're gonna see how this works, because this is like take one. So we'll see where it goes. So I literally just got done watching it, and there is, uh, mo to be honest, gameplay wise of this thing, I see what they're kind of doing. Let me just um, get there. Sure, this is close enough. So let me explain gameplay wise. It seems like what Nintendo is doing with Aqua Expansion is giving us gameplay we've already seen from the reveal trailer in the actual gameplay. Like this, what we're seeing here, um, may not be actual gameplay. But it's, like, close to it with the camera and all that. It's weird. But what we're actually seeing is gameplay of the game. Here, it's kind of like a camera pointing to the figure. While in the actual gameplay sense, the camera is, like, behind the figure. If you've played Story or Splatoon, really, you know what that's like with the camera. That's why it's mainly positioned. But in here, it's positioned differently, I think. I'm not too sure. But, but uh, yeah, or it didn't really show us so much in the menus or whatever. What is going on with this phone case? Jeez. Um, but... Here we're going to actually dive into it a bit more, but before I say that, it seems like they're covering the gameplay in here. I think I just said this, but that I, if I did, I forgot. But they're covering the gameplay in the trailer in here a little bit, so it's kind of mixed ways. Let me turn off Do Not Disturb so I don't get bombed with notifications right now from Twitter. Um, so yeah, so it seems like the, the, the stuff we're seeing in here, in this, um, this stuff in the Direct, is actually going to be showing us, in us as gameplay form. And in fact, we're actually seeing, I slid it down a bit, the end objective is in this too, which is kind of nuts. Um, so yeah. Anyways, enough on that. Just sum all that up. I, I, I've been saying it so many times. But to be honest, we're actually going to be seeing the gameplay from this first, from the, tr from what the original trailer. And I don't know what's going to happen from there. I'm guessing that'll be when E3 comes. So I think there's like one more scene or so we haven't seen yet. Um, and then that's basically it. And then I guess E3 will come and they'll bomb us with tons of stuff back to expansion. I doubt they'll pick up with the story then. I think they're going to have us wait until the game, until the um, expansion actually comes out, though. Um, but I can tell you right now, I am so much more hyped for this. And my mother is right out there, thanks. 
these walls are like cardboard, so I can easily cure. Um, let me put up YouTube again. Here we go. Why is Twitter up? All right, let me explain what just happened there. Um, my mom's downstairs in the basement. It flooded, so we're trying to get the water out. We got it all out. We're just gonna get the stuff out, but uh, my mom, she left the door open all night. Whoops. So now there's probably an animal in there. So if you hear a saying stuff, she's trying to get an animal out of there. If there is one, we don't know, but yeah. Um, so anyways, back to what we're trying to do. Sorry for cutting out like that. I was like, really? So I wanted to go tell her what's going on. But anyways, I don't know what I was saying, so let's just, let's just get into this. So I'm going to play it. I'm going to... Let me uh, put this in normal speed, because I think I can remember what I was saying. This is probably not a good idea, but we'll try it. I don't have any audio on, because I can't play it. So... As I'm watching, I'll say what I remember. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Um, I've noticed at the beginning, um, she has this little, like, band on her... Let me look. Give me a sec. Yes, I know which arm it's on. Here we go. That's just about a shot. On her... Uh, oh, gosh. I gotta put this into her perspective now. Into the octave length's perspective. See, when you look at it, it's her left leg, but to her, it'd be at her right. So, basically, to the octolings right leg there's like a big band all over it and then the same for her left wrist i don't know what that means don't wake up sorry um i don't know what that means i, I i'll talk about that in a sec actually i'll say it now well yeah i think we'll wait until it gets to the part but i'll say in a sec what that means early later on because i think i know the importance and then towards the beginning you kind of see stuff coming down from the ceiling and you see this little like um Almost like a crime scene tape, you see the um, yellow crime tape all around the place. I'm thinking about this, um, that the subway, we've seen it in Splatoon 1 easily. Behind you see a subway, and it looks like things are going pretty well with it. But I think something's happened from Splatoon 1 to Splatoon 2, because it's been, I mean, what, okay, uh, the first Splatoon came out 2015, and Steam Charges came out, sorry to put Skyers into this, but that's how I know dates. And then, here we are, 2018, so... 16, 17, 18, oh gosh, I think it's been three years since, so in the time being, we, oh my god, <laughs> a bird just hit the wind, wow, okay, that shocked me, <laughs> okay, a bird just flame, just, okay, a bird just came and just fl flew right into the window, and then hits on, continues going, like, what, <laughs> sorry, I am not editing that out. Um, but then this is being edited, but, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so, it seems like Splatoon 1, everything was running fine with it. I mean, you see the stu subway working fine, it's stopping there, all that, whatever. Fine. You go back to it now, you're gonna see the same stuff, by the way, but, um, then now, we're seeing it all in this. Uh, you don't know what this is, but, like, the ceilings are drooping down. You see, like, the break coming down. It's nuts. You see that tape everywhere. I think the place is abandoned. I think what happened between Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2 with that pl with the um, subway was it was working fine. I mean, everything was working fine with it. But something happened to cause it to cripple and fall down and everything. And, yeah, it couldn't really be fixed, I guess. Um, I'm going to say this this way because I'll explain later. But almost like evil has taken over the place, which is actually a very big role into this. So let me go ahead, continue this. Um, but just one to, if I can not close YouTube again. But yeah, I just wanted to say something's going on. And like the flooring, a little bit to the left of where you know, I'm just I'm at the scene where I just start on the walk towards the camera. Um, the very first scene you see it. There's the the tiles and everything. I mean, some of them look a little like bleached. I guess you could say a little darker. Um, you know, there is only a pattern going on with it. it it's interesting. Of course, there was, um, behind her, it says something like E6 and an arrow going forward. Something's back there. I think it's like another mission. Who knows? But I think it's a mission. I'm not sure, but that's not the point. So they're walking towards a bunch of, like, um, those ticket things. You have to put, like, a ticket in or something that, like, opens you through or really, not really opens you through, but it's more like those little spin things you gotta, like, push on, you know, you know that has, like, the, the, you know what I'm saying. You know, you put it in, you go into a carnival or something, you know, you put, like, uh, something through it or whatever, like, a card or whatever, and then you just walk through it. It's like that, but in a more subway theme, but it has a bunch of tape all over it. I don't know what is going on there, to be honest. They're kind of, oh, yeah, there are a bunch of, like, doors taking you in somewhere. And then you see, like, a light on the left. That's interesting. But I don't know what that is. That's not part of this, but 
It seems to be. Oh, I see. It's the subway. So basically, now we're walking through the main subway. Then you see Captain Cuttlefish. Fine. I'm happy he's back. Let me say that. All right. Now we see Marina and Pearl. And I'm going to get into Marina and Pearl for a second. Because we see Pearl first. And, uh, oh gosh. Now i got to stop it at the right time. Because it's so quick. The scenes are so quick. Let me go back. All right. He's got Captain Cuttlefish. All right. That's this little highlight thing. There we go. And then we're walking to the next set of doors. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. Oh, wait. No. Let me give you the next scene. Here we go. There. So, um, Pearl. We have her with, like, a, um... What's it called? A crown on. Um, Do I still have mine? Yeah, I still have mine. From Homecoming. But yeah. Should I put it on? Nah, I'm not going to put it on. <laughs> I don't even know if it fits. Then they got like that little chain necklace on her. Um, but yeah, well, I've noticed. The color of her hair is kind of washed out a bit. from The pink. I think it's washed out. I'm not too sure what she looked like. It's between the book. Okay, seriously. So then what's going on? But anyways, I think the color is kind of washed out. Yeah, and then we see Marina. This is where I think it's interesting with me. I haven't actually seen the picture for, um... Well, actually, I can do some... Oh, my gosh. I, go, I pressed the home button to go back to the main page. Hang on a sec. I need to see what the, um, the dead fish thing looks like that's brand new. Okay, I don't see much of it. But what I'm trying to think is happening, because I did hear in that video from Snorth93... They were talking about, like, theories of the Octo Expansion, and what kind of happened was they brought up about dead fish. I mean, I haven't really been set most ideas, um, because they haven't got much of the lore, or if it did, I wasn't really happy with it. And, I mean, I'm really picky on this stuff, but this is something I'm kind of liking, and it's going very far into it. But basically, we see Marina, uh, and it just brought me thinking, like, hey, I'm trying to figure out what dead fish looks like, and I do see, like, a sim the similar similarities between the two. And I'm thinking, why would Marina and Pearl be down in, in the subways? I mean, you would, you'd you think you wouldn't see them normally down there. Why would they go down there then? You know, if something is going on down there and it's kind of like abandoned, what are they doing down there? And then it got me to think, well, they just revealed dead fish. And they did say that dead fish could have something similar to do with them. So I'm thinking part of the story is that Marina wants to go save dead fish, which... Who knows how they're related? Sisters, who knows what? I mean, um, Callie and Marie were cousins, so who knows what their relationship could even be cousins. Who knows? Uh, maybe sisters. Probably more sisters. But then we see that they're now in Octo Expansion, so I think Marina is trying to get them to go down the Octo Expansion, her and Pearl. They go down to go save dead fish. What I'm curious about is, do they know what's going on when they go down there? Maybe they do. I mean, I think since Splatoon's came out, Splatoon 2, we've seen these signs around, about, around the, um, there's two sub-branches in Splatoon 2. Um, there's one, like, right when you walk in, you turn right, and it's, like, right there, and the other one's kind of like, um, if you know that meme about, like, you shall not pass, and it was supposed to be set in a certain area, it's, like, through there. Um, to where the story is, usually in Salmon Run, it's the opposite path. So go all the way to the right, and it's, like, through there, and there's, like, this kind of gate. I'm assuming if you unlock the actor expansion, that gate will open and it'll let you through. I'm pretty sure that's where it's actually going to be. Mainly, maybe it'll be both paths, but I really think it's the second path um, across the Salmon Run because when you, I mean, it just makes sense. I mean, there's a gate there. There's a bunch of stuff going around it. I mean, you see um, to the left, you got like all these posters going. I don't say creepy posters, but a bunch of these posters everywhere. You look through it, you see some things, and I mean, it looks pretty much bland right now because of texture wise. Um, but yeah, I think once it actually comes out, that area will have a lot more texture to it, you know? Right now, it's just nothing. Like, it, it just looks like a plain area. But once you unlock the section, I, I honestly think they'll add more detail to it, where you'll be able to walk through there and just put you straight into the gameplay. I don't know how it'll actually, how it'll, the trans, the getting there will work, um... Or they'll just instantly whip you there. Like, it'll just walk through and you're on automatically straight in there. Which would be kind of cool. Or whether that's, like, a transformation screen. But that doesn't matter. Maybe there will be. Who knows? Um. But, yeah. The, maybe the other way works, too. I don't know what the second way does. Which is by the main entrance of Splatoon. You literally, look right. There's a building with glass. That's literally where it is. I don't know what that could be. Probably another way to get down to it. Maybe it's, like, a bonus area for it. I don't know. I, I doubt there'll be a bonus area, but, like, another 
path to get to it with the loading screen, maybe. I don't know. Um, maybe, it, to be honest, I can even be wrong. It could probably be just set right in the main menu. Just go to press X, hit Octo Expansion, bam, there you are. I, I watch that be it, but I, I really think it's through one of those two ways, or both. I'm thinking both at this point. Um, but anyways, Marina and Pearl, they want to go save dead fish. Well, really, Marina probably, because they're related if they are. So they go down to go save her. Before they get the uh, snort, use the word disinfected. I don't like the word disinfected, but we'll go with it. Um, I'll, I'll call it something else. But for right now, I'm gonna call it disinfected. Disinfected for now. Um, uh, if you, uh, let me just let's just assume you guys know this. But um, in the trailer, there's a scene with like the octolings, and they're kind of turning green. I honestly think I'm gonna say it now. Someone is turning good people bad, and I was oh. Wait a sec. What if the octolings are actually good, but when they come up to the surface, the way we see them is just bad? Or maybe DJ Octavia done something to make them part of the, his army. Up up above ground, of course. But underground is something completely different. We're starting to see that happen, but this is like a more powerful entity than DJ Octavio, where they're actually transforming really everybody into this evil thing, which is why they sound kind of robotic. If you've noticed in the gameplays, when you defeat an enemy or something, they're really robotic. And I think Deadfish, they were trying to get down there to save her before she would get disinfected because they found out the news, went down there, tried to go save her, didn't end up well. They were end up running into Agent 8. Um, not Agent 8. Um, yeah, Agent 8, because that's the Octoling um, in the process. But I really think where the Octo expansion starts out, though, is when Captain Cap and Cuttlefish or whatever really it can start many ways. Could be either freeing Agent Eight or maybe doing something else. Maybe it has off after it and you kinda go back to it. Um it'd be a nice way to actually put cutscenes in the game because one of the things I want to see in this is cutscenes. I doubt they'll do it, but it's worth a shot. Putting like cutscenes in, but like I don't know. There won't be either there won't be dialogue in it if there is like the text boxes you've always seen. I I I'd rather see that to be honest. We haven't seen much cutscene wise in Splatoon. Really giving us a lot of cutscenes would be great. <coughs> um, but yeah, so I really think what's going on is this powerful entity is going on, and they kind of mark who they want to take captive with those armbands, with the wristband and the leg bracelet thing, whatever. Maybe the reason why Agent A has so many is because it's like a more higher status than all the other ones. I don't know. I have, We haven't seen the other... Um, octolings with it, but I honestly think these octolings are good, which is kind of a shocker. But if they went out to the surface, they'd be taken over by DJ Octavio and becoming evil. So they never did. But then now what's happening is they're becoming evil because someone else is doing something to it. I honestly think that this is going to be a new enemy than DJ Octavio because I mean, I, I love this DJ Octavio in the Octo expansion, just not as main enemy, but I doubt he'll make the appearance at all, to be honest. Uh, maybe he is down there, really. who knows. If he is, he could be working with the enemy as, like, a sidekick. Maybe, like, Splatoon has, like, a big bad enemy we've never known about. But maybe we have DJ Octavio, kind of like your sidekick, kind of watching out what's going on, on the surface. And then, now we're getting into the heavy hard stuff. I mean, it makes sense, because they did say there was going to be a lot of lore into this. Which, this doesn't go through the lore. I can tell you that right now. Uh, I, I, or at least, if it does... I, I'm not going to be happy because I, when I say lore, when the people say lore is going to mean things, I have extremely high expectations on lore-wise. Like, I really need to be wowed. And let me tell you this, it's hard to impress me um, when it comes to storylines and such. Um, but yeah, so basically someone evil is taking over the place and turning everybody into evil slaves, I guess. Why? I don't know. I have zero clue. Maybe their plan is to go above ground with this evil army. You know, build it underground, take it above ground, and then just, I don't know from there, defeat the Inklings, possibly? But then why would there be an Inkling? Oh, okay, I know now, I think. Maybe there's like an Inkling above, uh, in the Octo expansion, because they needed help, so they called the Inkling back? I don't know. Um, you know, they, you know, Captain Cuttlefish goes out as a research report to go down in and see what's going on, because maybe when Splatoon 2 came out, it's kind of like, Something's going on down there. What's going on there? We'll go down and take a look. All right, fine. No big, you know, they don't think it's much, but when they get down there, realize, hey, something big is happening. Um, but yeah, I honestly think the Octo expansion possibly could take place straight away 
from when Captain Cuttlefish gets down there and realizes something more is going down and then we hear a joint thought. Where maybe it's kind of like it goes and nothing much is happening and then eventually it turns into something huge where he realizes something big is going on. But I honestly think it's the first reason where it's like he gets down there and realizes, whoa, this isn't more than what we thought was going on. Um, because I doubt it was always like this in Octo Expansion or really the subways. Because Platoon 1, the subway would go by a lot and I don't know whether people would get on it because you never saw it. But like the subways are running. Now I doubt they are. I mean like above ground. Uh, maybe this is different. This probably could be different, but who knows. Um, but yeah. Um, what else is there? Let me look through this. Let's keep going. I'm only about two minutes in. See Marine and Pearl. Oh, they also like kind of like, disguise themselves to go down there. To kind of blend in to look normal. That's why they look so different. Um, so yeah. So we see Iso Padre. Um, you have to see a little bit of the memories as he's, as you're walking by. We see all the other passengers, show sure, you nothing big about them. We can't talk to them. I doubt they'll have much to it. Um, though also, I can tell you this, there's a lot of Easter eggs in this that probably mean nothing. Ah, there's this little uh, blue-purple sea urchin thing. Not really sea urchin, but yeah. Around two minutes, it's actually at the exact time zone, two minutes, 20 seconds into the video. Um, two minutes, 20 seconds in, you see this little like blue guy. In the core, he looks purple, and then he has a little hat on him. I honestly think that whatever it is is a character you can talk to when something happens to it. I think we'll learn more about that in the future, but I think that character has a big importance on the story. Well, I don't say big, but like Iso Padre, you can actually talk to him and something will happen with him. He has a purpose. Because the way he's in this reveal definitely shows it. It's not like a random character walking by. They point a lot of focus to him. They didn't. Also, they didn't really focus much on Iso Padre, but that was kind of a shocker, but... You can talk to him. So, I don't know. I have zero clue. But this definitely shows because they put a lot of focus towards this into the trailer. I don't know what that was now. Um, oh, oh. And then you see this, like, room with a bunch of green octolings. What's really interesting, and I mean, the eyes are also red. And I honestly think, I was wondering, well, why aren't they, like, beating up Agent 8 or something? I don't know. I honestly think um, it's just for the trailer. You know? I honestly don't know about that. I'm just going to say that for now. You know, it sounds really, like, really, really. But, like, who knows? Um, you'd think they'd go nuts on them. But I guess for trailer purposes, they didn't want to do that. Just to kind of show the point, hey, something's going on here. But I honestly don't know. This is, like, an official real trailer. We don't know. But then we kind of see later to the enemies. But they definitely look evil. But it, they definitely look like Agent 8. Like, underground, there was, like, a big race of Octolings, because that's probably where they came from or something. And then someone, and then there was, like, a lab, I guess, to help out with it, or maybe, I don't know what the lab was for. But, uh, yeah, I'm assuming it was, like, creating Octolings. I don't know. Maybe that's how it works. Who knows? We've always known Octoling is just evil. So to say they're actually good, that's a huge thing. Um, but to be honest, I think Octolings are actually good, Mainly because they originally looked like Inklings. But then when they came up to the surface, DJ Octavia would kind of take over them, I guess, to become evil, I guess? I don't know. Um, but they still, again, actually, now think about it, the Octolings we've seen, um, of course, we have the ones that look like tentacles. Um, you see them mostly. But then we actually see an Octoling, like an actual Octoling in Splatoon 1 or 2. They look different than what Agent 8 looks like. So I really think Agent 8 is like the native form. Maybe the one Octa um, Octavio takes over. A little different than that. Uh, but I honestly think he has his buds and they're all up above ground. And then the underground is all Octolings and they kind of stay there. Um, I guess then in Splatoon 1, they worked in harmony. Everything was fine. And then I guess some of them were evil. And that's really when stuff went wrong, I guess. I don't know. Um, maybe it's more like Octavio was just doing it. But then you'd go down and realize everything's fine. So eh, it just worked perfectly, I guess. But then Splatoon 2 comes and then something happens underground um, with the subways and stuff happens. So, um, and the, you're seeing this. So, uh, yeah. And then we see um, Sp Splatoon 1's agent. I honestly think Captain Cuttlefish, I did say earlier that uh, they called him down. I honestly can't thought, think <clears throat> Captain Cuttlefish brought down agent, what was the agent name? I don't know. 
whatever agent it was in Splatoon 1 underground to help, you know, with the research. And it didn't go well. Um, so then they found, you know, kind of help out, and then they find Agent 8, and that stuff happens. Um, but yeah, I honestly think the first mission, maybe in Octo Expansion, might be with an Inkling, and then you find Agent 8. Who knows? But I, that that's a possibility. I doubt that'll happen, because, they, I mean, it's really heavily advertised. It's playing with Octolings. I think maybe it'll be like a cutscene, or maybe not even shown. It'll just be in there somehow. Maybe they'll explain what's happened. Um, then we just get to, aha, that little megaphone thing, as you have, as you seen from Snorth, he said that the megaphone, well not he, but someone said that the megaphone was used by Callie, um, from above ground, because we have Harvey, they had to stay up, wondering what was going on, I guess they were able to find it, and then be able to communicate, I don't know, then we get to that scene, oh, let me actually talk about that a little more, then, because I feel like I should, um, I guess they went underground, um, uh, I'm pretty sure they've known that those telephone things were down there and they can kind of have them communicated going on. <coughs> I guess they kind of snuck one out or something so that then brought it up to Splatoon 2 beforehand. Um, so maybe this actually takes place... They, actually, this might take place before Splatoon 2, but in between Splatoon 1 and 2, when it actually starts to become evil and such, maybe right when it starts to happen, or something happens, maybe with the research trip, because they did advertise it happening before it. Maybe Captain Cuttlefish brought up one of those things when they realized something was wrong, but to the point where nothing really much would have happened. Like, they couldn't get hurt or anything, or they didn't need help. Just brought one of those things up just in case something intense happened. If they did, that's kind of lucky, because now we're seeing this happen. Octo expansion happening. So, yeah. Um, and then they can kind of communicate that way and know what's going on a little bit, but they probably don't do it much. Probably don't answer. Who knows? I don't know. Then we get to... The scene where we've seen the Octolings turning green. And they said it's disinfection, this disinfecting thing in the Storm's video. I doubt they'll call it that. I think in the English translation, they didn't bring it up much. I think they did. They didn't call it disinfecting, though. I don't know what it was called. I haven't seen the tweet, but I've heard Storm say it. Um, the turning green. That's probably the disinfecting process, or what they call disinfecting. Um, or the eviling process, the process of them becoming evil. Um, I doubt it would be called disinfecting because it just doesn't sound right to me. Like, disinfecting does not mean coming evil. It basically means taking all the germs away. I don't know. But yeah, with like the bad germs away, maybe this is advertised. No, they wouldn't advertise it to make you... Oh, I was going to say, is maybe they are advertising, hey, do this, it'll make you good, even though it doesn't. I doubt they'll do that, but you never know. So we see that. Then it kind of gets us into a mission. Yeah, you see that little uh, phone box. And you see that little, um, that little guy I talked about that was blue talking to like uh, Captain Cuttlefish. Then we see the map. I think it's cool. What actually? Not think about it. ZR zoom in on that little like map screen. What? Dude, so okay. And you see it unlocking a new subway. You know we've seen to um, the right of it <coughs> the little chat area. It seems like to be and then the right is settings. It's probably where you can mess with your controls or whatever. Like motion controls and all that. Who knows. Um, then the main one, Subway. It even says Subway map on the top left. Subway! Eat fresh! <laughs> Not that Subway. Um, but what's interesting is you kind of see dots along the way of the track. I think the yellow line is the main one, because mainly because there's a circle underneath it. So I think every time you go into Octo Expansion, you go through it in that yellow line. You're kind of input in the middle of the train. Um, it seems like that's where you are now, all the way to the right of it. Um... Yeah, because then it unlocks a new rail. Yeah, right where you are. And, and it seems like it's towards the beginning of the game. Give me a sec. Because, let me find where I was. No, but it's too far. Here we are. Around here. Yeah, here. Because when it unlocks the new line, it's the third one. The second one, really. If you if you don't want to count that yellow line, because I'm not counting it, because it's really small compared to the other ones. But really, what I think your goal is from the start point to make your way... I think what they're going to actually have you do is start going to the left of the map, um, clearing out the blue line, going through those missions. Once you clear out the blue line, you go to the right, you go through, it looks like another mission, and then you get, get a new line. You have to make it all the way back to the main point. Well, actually, there's like a big circle in the middle of each one. So I think your goal is to make that circle somehow. I see on the blue line, there's a red dot top and bottom, and to the left, the, on the yellow line. So I honestly think there's more to it 
but I think those missions may not maybe the ones that need to be completed, um, or maybe they just haven't been unlocked yet. I don't know. But for some reason, maybe once you go through so many missions or get so much, you unlock a new line, um, and you go through that line, and then you get more stuff to go back. So it's, if that is true, then then what will happen is you'll it'll unlock the blue line, but you can't go through it yet. You have to go through the white line. I think it's the white line, is it? Oh, no, it's the green line. Okay, the green line. You get the green line, and then you go through to the spawn, or really to that big circle point, and then you make your way to the blue line. And I guess there's two ways to make it to that circle because it's kind of like this. And then here's the big point. So it seems like there's two ways to get to the blue point. But it seems like whatever way you take, the um, bottom path or the upper path, you have to go through that path around the opposite. Maybe it's... No, it's not... It's, I don't think it's actually based which way, but I think one way will be less than the other. Then on the yellow rail, um, to the left of it a little bit, is another point. Maybe you unlock that last, and then that'll take you to more stuff into the Octo Expansion. Because there's 80 lines, that map cannot contain all 80 lines, just the one sheet. It probably goes out more, left, right, up, down, whatever. Really get into this. And you kind of see this little turning thing, where you see Oct I is your 8. I think what happens is you go through it, it boosts you up, and you kind of turn a bit, and then it kind of opens up, and you just boom through. Even though, there's a scene which just kind of shoots you out into the mission. I guess there's the difference between the two missions. This is like for, for certain missions. Ah, here's an interesting segment. So, this is probably one of the biggest things about to say here. Alright, um, we're seeing Ancient Ain't walking around into this mission. You know, you're seeing it, um, another Octoling, but they're evil with the jetpack. And I, you're like, alright, well sure, they're just walking through. First impressions, whatever. But then, you start to see this. I'm not going to actually show you because I can't. Hold on a sec. At 2 minutes and 48 seconds, Ancient Ain't is walking through green ink. I think that's green ink. I'm pretty sure it is green ink, because it's covered everywhere, if I'm correct. They're walking through green ink, and not even being stunned by it. They're just plowing right through it, like nothing, it gets nothing there. Or as they're walking through their own ink. And I'm like, how did I not notice that? That's like a big detail. Hang on. I went back 15 seconds, so give me a bit. All right now I see that screen with the trains, with the let rails, and now we here we go. Oh no, that's not okay. That is not green ink. I thought that was, but the shading was a little off. Um, I was saying something there, but then we get to this like octo stomp point. Yeah, that's that's definitely you got that, that that like octo stamp stamp DX with another little mini octo stamp. Yeah, that's different. Um. Then we see a bunch of these mini little enemies come by. This is really... Oh, yeah, this is the jetpack gameplay. But I've also noticed the tentacles on top of things are blue now. So that's interesting. And then we see the baller with the Octo Sniper. Here's another challenge I don't think we've seen before. Um, with the ball, it kind of like bounced up like this. Then it went this way. And it went a bunch through those like onion rings. It goes through that. Then there's another one with the ink rails. Maybe there's two. It's like a big rotating thing. But I think we've seen the end point later on. But this... What you see is like beams coming up. I think it's like mini endpoints. You collect them all to get to the end. But I don't know. The, I mean, the, there's laser points coming out of them. I don't think they... No, they're not. They're... Okay. They're honest. Look at those little coils. And they're like... the stuff wrapping around it. And then it's like a beam coming up. I don't know what that could be. Uh, and then you kind of go to the surface. And take takes you to You see it going through gameplay. Um, nothing much there. But let me go back a bit. I did notice something and I didn't... Where is it? It's only for like a split second you see it. It's nothing new to us now. But it, it, it's kind of big at that time. It would have been big if someone noticed it. Ah, yeah. And the inkjet. When they're taking out... I'll, I'll say the time. If I'm allowed to. It's like, oh my gosh. Um, where are we? Okay, it's before this. It's the inkjet mission. Here we are, inkjet. So, oh wait, that's Octo Stamp. A bunch of those mini guys. Yeah, uh, two fifty four. You see the tank got like this big blimp thing. Remember from the Splatoon one? I mean, Splatoon two story. It is big blimp things, but now you have like an inkjet and all that. Interesting. But you look towards the end, you don't see much. But when you look like this close to your device, you'll see the end goal. 
it kind of has like a tube around it, a white tube, like half tube, like this. Oh, not like that, but like, if I can demonstrate, like that. Yeah, well, it's just smaller. I'm um, like a half donut. But it's got a bunch of red lights, like here, like three here and here. No, wait, not three, four. And there's a screen on the top, a blue screen. There's something that indicates it, and when you end, I guess it's to get to the end goal. Like, so there'll be some missions, hey, get to the end goal with this objective, with this thing going on. Instead of just getting to the end goal, you got to do the end goal, but you got stuff to do. Like, using the inkjet to get to it. Interesting. I think the inkjet mission is part of this. I mean, I did see some switches in the background now. Alright. That basically, I think that's it. I'm pretty sure it is. It takes you back to Inkopolis. Actually, hang on. We might be able to squeeze in one more topic. Sorry for going over a half hour. I, I didn't want to, didn't know how long it was going to be. I kind of just came up and did this. Okay. So yeah, actually, they're walking up from an area like a slope. And when you walk, it looks a little dark. Hang on a sec. Could I actually predict where this is? I might be able to, but judging by what we see on the outside. Hang on. What? I don't know where this is. Okay. But it, it looks like that subway path takes you down. It could be that path, but the way it's structured looks very different. I don't know. Take a look back at it. But to be honest, I think the path that Agent 8 is walking up at the end of the trailer um, is um, a different path. It's probably somewhere else in the square. It definitely doesn't look like the path that I'm going to talk about here. <coughs> because you'd see from the path... Um, the, like, tower and everything. But the sky isn't a normal color, I can tell you that. It looks more of, like, a purple color. Um, and you see kind of light at the bottom. I guess when you complete the Octo expansion, you get this big goal, and that's it. Um, who knows? Yeah, it kind of turns out the end. And then, and then after that, you see the kind of like sewer pipe in the bottom left. What is that? It looks like an arm's coming out of it. But it's, like, not. It's, like, one of the, like, Jalfonzo like arms. But it's like darker color. I don't know. But either way, you see him looking out at the city. I don't think there's actually going to be a part into the Octo expansion. If it is, that'd be amazing. But I honestly think that it's just them coming up at the end of the game. Maybe you see that. You come up, and then it's like, congratulations, you completed the game. Let's get the, go back to Inkopolis, and you're done. Maybe the ending point has like a better area. Instead of just saying, hey, congratulations, you completed Octo expansion. I mean, they got this thing big, of course. But I honestly think, whatever area this is, if it's in the game, um, well, you see, like, the sewer pipe on the bottom left, um, it seems that's the exit. But I honestly think that uh, that end goal will have something bigger than just, hey, here's an area, go back to Angopolis, bye. Um, <clears throat> I think it'll be more than just that. It'll be something like, hey, here's this something. Or something that will help you through story. I mean, not story, but through um, multiplayer. I don't know. It could be a little anything. If there's not like an end zone, because showing at about three minutes in, seven, three minutes, seven seconds, you would like that sewer pipe at the bottom left. It could be just in there for the trailer purposes. It definitely looks like it is. Um, and then you look at the top left. I, I'm just noticing this now. Top left of the sky. You see, like, cut like an eyeball. It's weird. Um, when you see they call the cityscape in the background, you look at the top left, you see a little eyeball, like someone's watching you. I guess it's just for trailer purposes. Who knows? And then it talks about multiplayer. Only not there, except for the fact that when you look in the square, there's this one person all the way on the left by um, the screen, wherever that is, that like, big screen where it kind of advertises the weapon when you start the game. Um, not Next to Sheldon, in the middle of Sheldon, like to the left of where Sheldon is, I think it is. Um, there's an octoling right in front of it, but it's purple. And I think there's some inklings there, too. What is that? Hang on a sec. Give me a sec here. I think I noticed something. Let me go to my pictures. I took a screenshot of the screen. Let's zoom in here. And they also might have found the new hairstyle. Looking through this. Yeah, it's hard to tell much now. Samurai one seems closed, but that's nothing big. Oh yeah, Jackbox. We're playing Jackbox in that quest. Um, 
Yeah, at 3 minutes 13 seconds, if you look in the background, not really in the background, but next to that little sign where it's like, uh, right next, uh, right to the left of the shoal, there's this little, like, uh, gold sign. It has, like, red here, white here, and a like, gold outline around it, and has, like, an arrow pointing into the shoal. You know, there's usually, like, a person, an inkling standing on, like, leaning with their back against it or something, or, the, yeah, it's on the rail next to it, but whatever. In the trailer, it's a blue person. And they have, like, a weird hairstyle. It's hard to explain. But I'm just gonna say that. You guys can look for it yourself. But, yeah. And then you see them going in multiplayer. But what I was thinking is, how are they, why are they still like now? Like, if, if so, wouldn't someone notice it? I honestly think what's happened here, they set up a private lobby to do that. Because they have, like, the dev stuff that can do that. Oh yeah, definitely. Cause I I see a a boy with like the, point uh, fifty two gal. I don't know whether it's de it's not Deco because it's not sparkles over it, but it seems to be like they're wearing. I don't know whether it's new gear or not, but it seems to be new. Um, their ink tanks are different than the uh, than the inklings, um, because they have like a little red thing on the top. It's different. I can tell you that definitely. Um, and then you gotta see the boy. Um, they're kind of spawning in. So it's hard to tell, but it definitely looks. Um, like the lobby they whatever they were playing in. They're okay. It only shows the three people, but I think it's Octoling, Inkling, Octoling, and then probably Inkling next to it. I I can't see. I just see an ink tank. Actually, I could probably compare those. Duh. Hang on. It goes by so quick. I I could. This thing takes me back fifteen seconds, but fifteen seconds isn't really enough. Well, that's too far. I was going to compare the ink tanks, because they're both different, it seems like, maybe. I'm pretty sure they are. Okay. Oh, shoot, I just passed it. Oh, gosh, now it's so... Uh, let me go back. Like, here's the thing. You can't see the um, inklings of tank. The ink tank of behind them on their backs. So maybe they are different for octolings, but I can't tell. I have to compare it from platoon 2 and I have to have them on screen, so. Can't say much. Um, and then you see them just lying down, sure. But what I've noticed about Agent 8's tank in story is a hole on the bottom of it, and it kind of like goes like this. The, the bottom part of it. But there's a hole in it. And I'm like, what could that hole be used for? It's, it could just be that for decorations. But I honestly think there's a purpose behind it. Like, maybe they hung it. You'd hang the tanks. And that's what they did. But I don't know. But anyways, thanks for sticking around for the 37 minutes, holy cow, of the video of Octo Expansion Theories. And that's going to be out for today. Um, update on the computer as of now. We're trying to get it in. I'd love to have it back by July. So hopefully I can get it back by July. Although, I've been having some problems because my friend, who's making all the stuff for my channels, um, he's been working a lot and he can't do that stuff now. So, all the stuff I have for the channels, for both Skyrim's Activate and Splat Activate, which is basically nothing, well, I don't know, I can't really use it because the overlay is great, I love it. It's just the social media stuff on it is old and I can't fix it because I don't have the, I, I don't have Photoshop and neither do I have the file for it. I just have the image and he's too busy to do anything to it, so I need a new overlay. Um, so much more. Um, the intro needs to be done, and he did say he lost the file to all the stuff, so he has to start from scratch. <coughs> um, so, and, and, and to be honest now, he actually can't work on the stuff anymore because he's too busy working, unfortunately. So, it's a shame. So, uh, I, he said, I asked him, when do you think it could be done? He says, I don't know, no time soon. So, that doesn't think it's going to be happening soon at all, really. So I'm trying to see if I can get someone else to help out. Um, but I don't know any friends from school or anybody, really, who do, who can help at my school. So I don't know what will happen. I'll have to find someone else who can help make this stuff for me. Um, because I can't. I don't have Photoshop. I have Paint.net, and that's nowhere near close enough um, to what I need to do. Um, so it's kind of unfortunate that I can't make this stuff. And I, I also, we're just getting the animation now in um, class. I'm not good at it. <laughs> I can tell you that. Like, I can do basic stuff, but nothing to what I need. Um, but yeah, I definitely need a new intro. 
because I really want to amp it up a bit. Um, and then, what else was there? I need one for both channels. And then I need um, overlays for both channels. Um, I have, like, a preview file on here of what the other person have. You can kind of just really copy off of it. Because um, everything will be in the same position as it was. But then I kind of need, um, oh, yeah, like, a profile picture for, like, both kind of combined where it says like Skyner slash splat activate and then Jeffrey or maybe just Skyner slash splat and activate I don't know I haven't decided on that but uh it needs to have like a profile picture of that so when I'm on like Twitter I can have that set as profile picture to kind of advertise both channels and then I need like a a banner for both channels because the one I have for Skyner's activate it's I I don't I took off snapchat so I can't advertise that anymore, so I have to get rid of that. It's a shame that all this stuff has to be, you know, scratched. But I'll have to find someone else to roll on it. If you guys know anyone that can do it, then I don't have to pay because I don't have money to pay the person. Um, it has to be free. Let me know down below, but I, I honestly doubt it. I'll, I could probably find someone else. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that. Nothing nuts. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update there. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the Octo expansion stuff that I just brought up. Uh, my voice is now killing me. My throat is so sore. I've been coughing all the time. Um, <clears throat> my throat is drying to get drink. Oh, God. Sorry. Table's wobbly. Um, but yeah, that's going to be that for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This 40-minute video, by the way. Holy cow. Um, shout out to those who watched the whole video, but I don't blame you for skipping through it. It was kind of long. and The first part got kind of repetitive. But anyways... Um, yeah, I'll probably do more stuff like this. Um, and then we'll kind of transition into gameplay. That'd be fun. Um, I don't know when, though. I'm trying to shoot for getting that computer back by July. Hopefully, they get it fixed. Um, the company gets it fixed. But if not, we'll take it back to the technician. They said I'll fix it. And that'd be great. Um, and then we'll have it back where it can find everything. Um, it's just recording stuff at this point. I have no clue. I'd love for it to be done by the end of school, but that's June 15th. No possible way to be done by then. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. If it, I, I honestly would say July is even early. Um, so, at this point, I can't guarantee a day coming back. But hopefully, by the end of the year, we should be a, probably starting to come back um, and make stuff. I'd like, to, I'd like to be making stuff by the end of the year, um, but I don't know. It's kind of shocking because here's the thing. I have, uh, I'll be going to 11th grade next year. School is almost over. We get out June 15th here. Um, but I know whatever day, if it's June 15th, it's a Friday. We don't go on, on the last day if it's a Friday. The last day, official day of school for everybody because um, we're high school. But elementary, primary, and middle go, but they get out two hours early. So we get out a day, we get out on Thursday, but the real last day of school is a Friday, but high schools don't go unless you do makeup stuff, which I will not, I, I cannot do because buses don't run that day. Um, but yeah, so I, um, so basically our last day is a Thursday, but I will not have stuff back by then, guaranteed. Um, if anything, it'll be back by June, July, minimal, maybe a little bit, but then it's coming up to making Splatoon stuff. So what I might try doing is making Splatoon stuff. But what would happen is the gameplay will be full screen, and then you'll see, like, a face cam up here blocking the gameplay. I'd hate to do that, but I might have to. Um, <clears throat> my second option, which is the least favorable, um, is to have the gameplay, like, going from this corner to here. Then, like, my face cam be here. Like, what I had set for Sky to activate, except there'd be no overlay. And that just sucks. You just can see black. And that's nothing you want to see. Um, but, yeah, and I'm not making my custom again, because that, that wasn't good on Sky to activate. But, yeah... Just wanted to say that, um, yeah, that's coming. I doubt when if I do make that other attempt, I'll probably end up just printing the gameplay on screen and then having my face come up here in the corner. But uh, there's not going to be, like, an introduction or whatever. Like, not like an intro. There's not going to be an intro or an outro or whatever. Then I was an outro, but there's not going to be anything much coming. Same for Skyrim's Activate. Probably do the same thing, except there will be an intro. And, um... There won't be an overlay or anything. Uh, should I use my... No. Um, but yeah, it'd be the same thing. They'll probably use the old intro, though, so it'll have a bit more professional style where we'll have, like, hey, we're doing this today. Cut the intro. Gameplay comes. Bye.
Well, not only the gameplay, but the, the gameplay. We actually do what, what the episode is, whatever is supposed to happen in that um, video. And then we end it off. But, you know, but this channel won't have that. Um, it'll just be straight up me. No, no, like, intro. Me give me saying stuff, but yeah, nothing nuts. But yeah, sorry for giving you guys a long video. Um, I wanted to talk about Octa Expansion, and as you guys probably know from Skyrim's Activate, especially my first couple videos, talking-wise, I'm not doing well with it. As you can see by the time frame of this video, uh, it's, it's up there on my iPhone. That's why I'm pointing up here and, like, doing this. Or, like, this. Really too close. But yeah, just wanted to say that. Um, I, well, I could post this as a comment on Snort's video, but then I feel like it's better making a video about it. Um... Because it's easier for him to see. Plus, it's basically publicity. It gets people noticing the channel. But yeah. Um, but hopefully soon we'll get some gameplays coming up here. Um, I'd love to see it July. I'm shooting to get that computer back July. And hope the company can fix it. If not, we'll take it back to the and I'll fix it up. No problem. Give it back to me. Bam. Um, so hopefully, I'd like to have it back by July. But to be honest, we might be ending up sending it July. Um, it really depends. But yeah. That is that for today. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, Deadfish being final boss, I doubt it's going to happen. Um, I honestly think there's just another plot. There's just another character there that's evil. Um, I, I honestly think there will be a boss battle of Deadfish, but it's not going to be like a final boss. So, um, And what I would honestly hate to see in Mocker Expansion, to be honest, and I don't think it's true, when you defeat an enemy, um, they kind of disappear. But with the bosses, will they just become... Um, de-disinfected or really de-evilized. I probably shouldn't say that because the Skyrim Swap Force literally had that tone. Um, you guys don't know this because Splatoon stuff. But in Skyrim um, Swap Force, um, the enemy was using these crystals to make things evil. They turned purple and evil and all that. But when you defeated them, this became back to normal. And it was really weird. Um, but it was, it, you got used to it. Will Splatoon take that same effect where with the final boss, they become... They be maybe they become in the final boss, but for dead fish, probably they'll be like the first one or something, and nothing not to be new about it. It'll they'll they'll just be, um, evil from the start, unlike probably the rest of the bosses. Or maybe they will become evil in uh, as they become a boss. I honestly doubt that. No, nah, that that probably won't happen. But that's just the thing is to say. But what I was also gonna say is that maybe the bosses, you don't defeat the boss. I mean, you do defeat them, but they don't like. When you're done with them, they don't just buy. They actually become their old self again. It'll be interesting, especially when we are defeating these evil Octolings um, with the green skin, the disinfected ones. Do they just disappear and just die? Or do they become what they were before? Because clearly it seems like Agent 8 was becoming one, or at least as we've seen through the tanks. If they become full evil or really disinfected, when we defeat them, do they just disappear and just die? Or do they become their counterpart or whatever they were before? That's an interesting thing. Or really, how do we revert it? You know? That's interesting. But that'll be something coming with Octo Expansion. Uh, more something to think about. Maybe you guys have your theories on that. If so, let me know down below. The comment section. Um, anything you disagree with out, let me know. Anything you agree with let me know and if you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you dislike to give you give it a dislike and yeah it really shows support because brand new channel all right my other guy on every channel has 30 subs but nothing much much can happen so yeah hopefully we can get the channel going then well yeah anyways that's it for today sorry for giving you guys a 50 minute video at, the, at this point it's 48 minutes let's not continue this no more so we'll see you guys eventually, and I'm just going to use my old outro from Skyrim's Activate. And until then, peace out, and goodbye. And now that I think about it, I recorded two clips for this. This video is not actually 47 minutes. It's longer, because I recorded a first clip. And then I recorded a 47 minute long clip. So I don't know how long this is going to be, but I am sorry for giving you guys a clip. It's probably going to be over an hour long. Oh, gosh, Cherry, don't, don't do this now. Um, But, yeah, sorry for that. But it got the topic addressed, so I guess that's fine. I don't know. I really need to script these out more so this doesn't happen. Even if I do, it'll probably still happen. I don't know. But, anyways, 
Sorry for giving you guys this long clip. Jeez, I didn't think it'd be this long. But, uh, yeah. So, till then, uh, the official peace out and goodbye. <laughs>